Hi, I'm Mark Bauer with Bauer Small Engine Repair, and I'm going to show you how to repair a lawnmower starter. Okay, this is a common starter for a lawnmower, and uh, I am going to uh, show you how to uh, replace the rope in the starter, which is the most common part to fail on a starter. Um, often the, the rope will break. Uh, this one is showing some signs of fraying. Uh, they, they start wearing. The, the, this wear is usually caused by uh, the eyelet on the handle. If the rope is still attached and all together, you can simply uh, take the starter, pull it all the way, let, pull the rope all the way out to the end of the knot right there. Then I use a Phillips screwdriver. Pay, take a pair of needle nose pliers. Pull the rope out. Go ahead. The rope's not going to be reused, so you just simply cut the knot off, pull the rope out, and then get your new piece of rope. First thing you want to do is you just tie a knot in the rope, and you leave a little bit of excess there. Make sure it's a nice and tight knot. You can tighten it up with a pair of pliers. Make sure it's good and tight. And then um, make sure there's no oil or gas around or any flammables, and then um, simply uh, burn the end with a lighter. You can use a match or whatever you prefer. I like to leave a little ball on the end. That makes it harder to pull through there just in case um, just in case the rope would the, the knot uh, would come loose and then it would uh, keep that from pulling through. Just a little extra insurance. So that keeps it from fraying and pulling through or having the knot come apart. Then I do the other end and this allows it to feed through that hole a lot easier. So there again, you can take a rag, make sure the rag doesn't have any gas or oil on it when you're doing that. You don't want the blob on this end because you need to feed it through that hole. So you simply take that rope and you can kind of turn the pulley a little bit to, to line it up. So it, it doesn't always want to go in there. I'll show you again, like say, if it misses it a little, you can just simply turn that pulley a little to get it in there. So if it's over here, you're, you're going to have a hard time feeding it through. So you just want to get it lined up like that to where it's a straight shot. And then just pull the rope all the way through, all the way to the end. Make sure it's nice and tight. The rope will go back in. And what I like to do is just tie a, a slip knot in there just to make sure that it doesn't wind back up in there when you're trying to put the rope on. And then you just simply put, take the rope, put it back through so you can see it come out. And you'll see the rope uh -huh. poke through there. It doesn't necessarily have to go one way or another. It just has to go through there. So you just take a screwdriver, poke it through. Okay, and once you can see it, then you just simply take a pair of needle nose, pull it through, and then tie your knot on this end. There again, you can leave a little ex excess, about an inch is good. And then you can make sure your ropes, your knot's tight with a pair of pliers like that. Then pull that back in, like that. You don't want the rope hanging out of the handle. Okay, and that's how you put a rope in a recoil starter.